Today I'm gonna to show you how you can make these radio waves. Animation is a pretty quick and simple animation. So, first thing we're gonna do is open a new composition. It could just be a normal HD 29 frames per second, 1080p. And we're gonna start by making our background. So, new solid. You can change it to whatever color you like. For the tutorial purposes, this is what I'm going for. And we're gonna add our shape layer, which is a line. So let's go to our pointer tool. Hold shift when you click the first point all the way to the last point. That makes it a straight line. So now that we have our line, so you can adjust it if you want the stroke to be bigger or smaller, but let's add a trim pass first so we can make it go from left to right. Make a keyframe here, and then move forward a little bit. Make another keyframe when it's 100%. F9, easy, ease it. So now we have our animation. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add our waviness now. So you can go up to here, to effects, type in wave warp and add it to it. And you can see you have a lot of settings here for, for how you want your wave to look. You can make it look small, you can make it look big, however you want. Click this to look. Let's go a little bigger. And you can see you have another option here just a lot of little customization you can do you can even change it to like lines or a triangle here i'll show you the options in a second but this can be useful for any kind of thing you want so now we have like straight jagged edges or we can do this one, it's like circles. All kinds of cool stuff you can do, right? So. We'll go ahead and we'll, and we'll add this all edge or vertical edges. So at the end of it, as you can see, it kind of tapers off. And let's go ahead and go to our original for the tutorial purposes. So now what we're going to do is add our ending keyframes. So when it goes off screen, what you want to do is select both of these keyframes and time reversal. Select right click, go down to time reverse. And as you can see, it'll go off the screen smoothly as well. And now you want to duplicate it so you can add more waves to make it, you know, more dynamic. And you can reverse this to a negative to make it look like there's two different ones. With this effect, you can do a lot of different uh, things. It's just up to your imagination. So here I'm going to add a few more layers and I'm just going to I'm just gonna do some adjusting, nothing too crazy. Just staggering it, making it look different. Okay, so at the end of our last keyframe, we're gonna hit N, and then we're gonna hit Alt and Bracket. And that's basically just gonna make these layers as long as where the playhead is. So all right, so far we this is basically it. This is the end of the animation. Uh, it's pretty simple animation, it's easy. What I'm gonna do here now is just adjust some of the colors and add some more style, but also at the end here, I'm gonna give you guys the best settings when you want to export something so if you want to export an animation or something 
you want to hit Control M and then select the best quality, of course. And you want to go in here and make sure it's a QuickTime. Go in these format settings and make sure it's Apple ProRes 422 and hit RGB. And then that's that's going to make it to where it's the smallest file size and the best quality. It's a mix of both. So then you render it out. And it renders quickest, quickest with the most quality. Thank you for watching. Peace.